everyone. Welcome to Women Empowerment Series. Today with me, Farisha, and we have a special guest with us. Is Puan Noraini Yop, the Director of Open University Malaysia Typing Learning Centre, member of Lead Women and ICDM, and Board of Director of a construction company. Assalamualaikum. How are you? Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. I'm Good morning to you. Good morning. Okay, first and foremost, I would like to thank you for being in Women Empowerment Series. This is where I showcase amazing and wonderful ladies in Malaysia. Okay, Panoraini, can you tell us more about yourself? Okay, thanks, Marisha, for inviting me uh, for this Women Empowerment Talks. Uh, my name is uh, given by my father and mother, Noraini Bukio. I uh, mm -hmm. was born uh, in Taiping, Pera. Okay, uh, many years back. Okay, uh, my early edu education is in Trisha Methodist Girls Schools and also secondary uh, um, Trisha Methodist Girls Schools. And um, after that, brought me to ITM, mm -hmm. Shalam. I'm doing banking and finance. And after that, I get married in a year in a in a young age, twenty one years old. I already got married. Yeah. Then I got a degree with uh, four kids. Uh, started my work uh, in way back at the age of 22, 23, I started my work, and I've been experienced for many many years in uh, in in working. I have a uh, working in the industry, manufacturing industry lines in Penang for 17 years and I joined education line for 13 years. So now I'm in education line. So I have four kids, three girls and I'm uh, sorry, three boys and one girls. Um, and then uh, this has brought up me uh, the experience of in manufacturing has molded me to a better person. Yeah. And uh, now I'm in education. I'm giving giving back to the youngs of what uh, they should do, and what they should learn. Okay, I'm I'm a single mother. Mm -hmm. uh, I I don't mind to share that I'm a single mother. Uh, my my husband, my late husband, is a is a police officer, and his wife has passed away and left me with with the four kids. And from from there onwards, it motivated me that uh, to me I understood that. If I don't do something for myself, what will happen to my kids? Yeah. So from that time onwards, uh, when he got an accident, uh, I already started to 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 grow myself uh, into. Uh, I I did my master. Yeah. When he was uh, sick for a few years, I did my master, and uh, I managed to get my master. And after I finished my master, my career itself. Yeah. So that is how I, I, I have motivated myself that uh, I don't have a husband, I don't have anyone to rely on and I have four kids, grown kids and I need to feed them and I need to make sure, uh, to make sure that uh, they are all well educated. And Alhamdulillah, uh, two of them are now working and I have left another two fields in university. So in my career uh, development, I have challenged myself to become uh, a good woman, a better woman, a better leader, and I was uh, I was in a few um, industries. As I said, I was in manufacturing line. I was in Sony. I was in Solectron, and now uh, in the education, I'm John Olympia College as a principal. I'm in uh, Wawasan Open University as head of regional, and now I'm as a director for Open University. Uh, before was in Penang, Open University uh, Sedang Jaya, and now uh, management has transferred me to Open University Taipei, Open University Malaysia Taipei, to develop the new center. So that's my career, and I'm still, uh, and part of it, I already uh, become a part of members in a construction company in Penang. Uh, and my journey is still not end. Uh, I'm still looking myself to be a better and better. And if you look at me like I'm now a big success, but to me, this is still not there. My ambition is still high and I want to go for more. 
Wow, wow, that's amazing. That's amazing, Juan. Okay, I just wanted to share with you uh, just now when you shared about being a single mom. Uh, I can relate it to my mother as well because my father passed away in 2016. And after my father passed away from heart attack in 2016, my mother take care of both of us, uh, me and my younger brother. And for me, having that courage as a woman, you know, and to be strong, it's not easy. So when I look at you, it reminds me of my mother. So you have the traits and character, uh, characteristic, you know, exactly like my mom, you know, the passion, the courage, loving for their child. And for me, I think that is the most important thing because women are nurturers, they are givers. And when I look at you, it reminds me of my mom. Okay. Yeah, because we, we have a kid, so we have to be strong because if you're not strong, then what about the kids? So that's why I keep, keep motivate myself to be stronger and stronger each day so that I can make sure that my kids are well educated and they are good. Alhamdulillah, inshallah. Okay, moving on to the next question. What does woman empowerment mean to you? Okay, woman empowerment. Um, we as a woman, actually, we should encourage. We have to encourage each other we have to empower each other and we have to motivate each other to be a better woman. Yes. Every single day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, we should stop of being envy between women because uh, we will not be uh, developed or we could not upgrade uh, ourselves mm -hmm. to be envy between women. Exactly. Because, uh, I, I don't like I don't like when a uh, woman and women envy uh, to each other. Mm -hmm. We should empower because we uh, not many women yet. Yeah. If we empower each other, we will be very strong. Mm -hmm. and even stronger we need to support and empower. Support each other. Don't envy. Yes. Yeah. yes, because I truly agree with you because with jealousy and hate, it's not going to bring us anywhere. Yes. So, you know, we just have to keep the positivity going, you know, be positive and be happy and inspired by other women's success. And to right. know that, you know, if you join forces and collaborate with them, it's just going to make you bigger and stronger as well. And for right. you to support each other and empower one another. Correct. Don't envy. That's the best way. Do not envy. Just empower each other. Exactly. You will be stronger. Yes, and I truly believe in the concept of Rizuki. Yeah, yeah. Rizuki Allah, for example, everyone has his own type, their own timeline yes. and Rizuki. So let's say if, by, by Allah. Okay. So let's say if it's not now, maybe in the future, uh, later. what you can do now is support other ladies. So for example, if you have friends who are, you know, se selling uh, cakes or muffins from home, doing a home business, oh, on, yes. support them. Them. buy their cakes, buy their nasi lemak, buy their nasi ayam. So now everything is all available online and then can yeah. be delivered by Grab Food, Food Panda and delivery service. So we support the small business. We support ladies who are doing small businesses and we right. also support, let's say, stay-at-home mom, you know, housewife, yeah. who are also running their own business online. Yeah. So these are the ladies that we need to support. Right. Because every woman, we will have an obstacles, we will have hurdles in life. So uh, maybe we do not know what are the obstacles, but we try to be more positive and motivate them and also like giving them some advice or guidance if they need help. It's, 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 it's not a big deal, mm -hmm. okay. So what we can do now is uh, help one another and support each other. Okay. okay, moving on to the next question. Who are your inspirational women leaders that you admire in Malaysia and also internationally? Okay, actually, uh, I do not go on specific women who I admire because I admire all women. Yeah, I put it that way because if Every woman has their own setback in life. They have their own failure and success story in life. So own challenge, I admire, own admire struggle. Everyone. Yes, I admire everyone because it's not an easy for a woman to stand up 
of a woman to 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 be a good person uh, even though if they are not good so there must be a reason why they they are not good so we have to inspire them we have to motivate them so that they can become a better person because this is again a bit back to rezeki rezeki Allah Taala because sometimes ah yes. uh, because sometimes we look at a corner a woman which is not a good in behavior we should not condemn the person we should uh, embrace her and to get her to become a better person to to bring her out from that that obstacles so this is very important for all women we don't have to look down to other women uh, go together and make make sure they are good. You see, if you ask me um, somebody that I admired the most, uh, maybe I could name Tan Sri Rafida Aziz because I like uh, her plans. She oh, 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 mind and she oh. just say what she wants. That's good. So sometimes my brother always put me, I also like Tan Sri Rafida Aziz because my words are sharp and very <laughs> blunt. So uh, that, that is me because why I, I meant this uh, way because I want to ensure that I got what I want and I exercise and I want my generation or also my people that under my supervision to become success. That's why sometimes I'm a bit uh, aggressive or a bit uh, garang yeah? because I want to ensure they can get what they want because it's not easy to challenge in life. Okay, so high five because we have the same idol. So <laughs> I idolize Tansi Rafida Aziz as well. And I've met her uh, last year at a, a Perdana Leadership Forum. So I managed to ask her a few questions and also take a photo with her. And then when I, you know, chit chat and take a photo, take a selfie with her, I'm surprised. She's like very friendly, very, friendly. Friendly, very nice. And she was like, hey, do you want to Yeah. <laughs> so I was like, wow. Wow. That's I met her in person. I met her in person. Yeah. I met her in person also. And I thought she was, she says hi. When I measured, she's just about my height. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> I like her because she's very vocal. She's very, yeah, she's very vocal. vocal. And she speaks her mind. Yeah. Yes. She's just about yes. That's good, actually. And what about leaders internationally, women leaders that you admire? Um, there's a few, but uh, maybe I could put Lady Diana. Wow. Lady Diana, because she's, um, I think she has a tough time to become a princess. Yeah. Uh, because I've read about her before. So mm -hmm. uh, I think she's also challenged her life a uh, very difficult way to, to, to become a success a princess. Uh, mm -hmm. princess yeah? mm -hmm. So with her love story, all this and that. So yeah. I, feel, I feel sympathized and I feel that. She must be a very, uh, very strong woman. She's challenge. amazing. She's amazing. Yeah, she's amazing. Go and, through all her life. Um, and, and she, she also has many obstacles. Mm -hmm. And she so also admired me. Mm -hmm. And she also championed in the cause of uh, AIDS, HIV. Yeah. Where right. she, yeah, where she's the spokesperson for mm -hmm. HIV AIDS. And uh, she done a lot of philanthropy, uh, a lot of volunteer and charitable work. And wow, she's like amazing. Not just in I, I most, I most admire her due to yeah. her personal life issue. Because uh, to, as a woman, uh, you need to be very strong for you to challenge that, that life. Yeah? Because of course she will cry, she will be a very... Uh, demotivates at that point of time, even though she's a princess, but that's personal life that made me like, oh, she's a wonderful woman to me. Okay, and what is your advice to the young ladies out there, especially young graduates, young ladies? Challenge all the way out, yeah. Uh, you have the right to choose, I have to say that. Yeah, you have the right to choose means that uh, you don't just simply grab anybody that you think just come in front of you. If you want to have a life partner, you have the right to choose. Yeah, if you want to do anything in your life, you have the right to choose. You decide what you want and you challenge to make sure that things uh, you get. Okay, 
uh, insyaallah we will doa uh, you hard work you will get it yeah that's my advice insyaallah okay so to all the young ladies out there watching yeah take this advice you know go as high as you can challenge yourself right okay and we've come to the uh, end of our show the end of women empowerment series uh okay, just one more question okay what would be your advice for people out there who have lost their jobs due to coronavirus so at the moment right now um, a lot of companies are struggling to sustain uh, a lot of businesses are downsizing and a lot of people lost their job due to coronavirus so as a leader as a motivator as a educator and a leader what would be your advice for them how can they bounce back and move forward okay easy to say but difficult to handle yeah but uh, we still have to move on because um, life is still not the end yeah we still have to move on we still have to challenge because i myself uh, has been without work uh, i think few years back maybe seven years back i've mm. been without work for four months yeah but you have to challenge you have to uh, make your doa tight to, uh, because that's the only way because if when you are muslim or you're non-muslim you still have to rely on your god for yes. what you've uh, been given so mm -hmm. um, try to get um try to find a job there must be a way because if this is rejected there must be something is waiting for you and then if you think that your education level is not at that far then make, uh, then you are difficult to engage with a, a, a new organization just upgrade your education yeah upgrade your education level higher from where you are now so that you can competent can be competent and you can be accepted by um the new organization and you must challenge yourself and always um, be confident when you during the interview do a good resume of course your CV must be good and then uh, you have to be good enough in selling yourself during the interviews and you have to be uh, showcased that you are there for the work for the new work yeah inshallah I believe uh, this downsize will be a, a temporary for us uh, we can be a better. We can challenge it, and inshallah, there must be something better from now. You will get it. Inshallah. Yeah, I like the way you say it just now upskilling, learn new skills. So, this is yes. really important for especially those who have been affected, who have lost their job due to this, uh, this pandemic. So, use the opportunity now to upskilling to learn new skills and to also, you know, uh, make your CV and portfolio more attractive for potential employers. So when they look at your CV and portfolio, they know that, oh, this person has attended this training, this courses. So it makes you more sellable to potential employers and also upskilling. Learn, 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 because learning never stops. Right, Puan? Yeah, so we have to challenge ourselves and learn new skills, upskilling, take on new courses. Uh, there's a lot of online courses and also face-to-face -face training as well. So right now, Alhamdulillah, we have received a green light from HIDF and also the ministry to conduct face-to-face -face training once again. And um, with 20 packs so we can still conduct face-to-face -face training and also take this opportunity to learn as much as you can because when you have uh, new skills and you have um, a lot of talent in you that are the criteria that the potential employers are looking for yeah so when you have the talent and you have the x factor something that is different from other candidates, mm -hmm. so you will stand out. You have to be outstanding. Important that you have to be outstanding from others. How mm -hmm. to make that outstanding? You have to go and get the knowledge. Don't stop learning. Even though you are now, you said that you have a, you have a degree, upgrade. You can upgrade yourself to a master level. If you already have a master, you can upgrade yourself to a PhD level. No problem. Yeah, You can do it. Just mm -hmm. challenge 
go on tight and you will get it inshallah yeah life is a learning curve yeah learning is a process and learning never ends correct yes so can you share with me what are the uh, courses that is available at OUM typing learning center maybe you can share with our viewers okay we have from diploma level degree level master and phd we have uh, clusters of business school social science and um, there's another program i can remember meaning we have we have many programs that you can join open Indonesia to upgrade your education level higher for whatever level that you are now you can still upgrade yourself and you can gain because most of my students when mm -hmm. they upgrade their education they will mm -hmm. get a better job they even get yes. promotion uh, they become uh, highly employable. employable yeah yeah if they mm -hmm. don't have a job they will get a job not not after they graduate it's in between the line they already got the job so just mm -hmm. be confident with yourself upgrade yourself and you will get yeah that's the importance of uh, seeking knowledge and upskilling yes okay and then how can they find out more about uh, oum training program uh, do you have the website uh, oum out of website is oum.edu.my if you have you need more information about open stimulation you can contact me you can whatsapp me to 016-218-7980 that's my number you can always go to my website, uh, oum.edu.ny, or also WhatsApp me for more information. I will need you because we have 35 learning centers all over Malaysia. Wow. And we are That's the really best part time 35 hmm. learning centers all over Malaysia. And so far, so far we are the best part time learning, uh, learning institution for Malaysia. Wow. Yeah, it must be a very big campus, right? Uh, yeah. We, our main campus is in Kerana Jaya, mm -hmm. 35 centre throughout Malaysia. Wow. So anybody can access, everybody can access to, to, to our learning centre to upgrade oh. your education. And how about for those who want to connect with you online? Uh, what is your LinkedIn, uh, Facebook or Instagram? Maybe they can follow you my, online. Okay. My Facebook is Noraini Yo. My mm -hmm. LinkedIn is also Noraini Yo. And mm -hmm. my IG is Noraini why? Mm -hmm. Wow. I got okay. TikTok. I got TikTok, eh? Wow. <laughs> I got TikTok. My TikTok is no right Wow. Okay. But I don't do TikTok. I don't do TikTok like the young school. Like I do TikTok on motivation. Motivation, yeah. Okay, thank you so much, Puan Noraini, for joining me on Women Empowerment Series. And I hope to those of you who are watching this, I hope you are motivated, inspired, and also you can learn something from Puan Noraini Yoke today. And also, for those of you who would like to connect with her online, you can connect with her via her LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. Till then, stay safe, take care. Bye. Thanks, Marisha. Thank you. Thank you, Pa.